The Helwig red top is composed of a top layer, which is a hard fiber, and a bottom layer, which is a high temperature resilient rubber. The hard fiber top protects the rubber from damage by the spring finger and distributes the spring force uniformly to all brush sections. The rubber portion absorbs shock and vibration and dampens brush movement while still allowing independent action between the brush sections. This greatly reduces electrical wear by improving the effect of electrical contact. The first test lab demonstration is performed on a vibrating table with vertical vibrations at 15 cycles per second over a total distance of 50 thousandths of an inch. The base plate under the front section moves 25 thousandths above and 25 thousandths below the neutral plane. A standard multiflex brush is inserted into the brush holder on the right. A red top brush designed for this holder is inserted on the left. Six and one half amperes are passed through the back section of the standard brush as the front section is vibrated. Notice the movement of the indicating needle. Three and three quarter volts are required to force this current through the brush section. Note the instability of the voltmeter. An oscilloscope trace of the voltage across the brush confirms that it is open circuit nearly 50% of the time. Shown in slow motion, the rear section on the right is being lifted from the conducting base plate. Also, the spring finger is being lifted off the rear section of the brush, allowing that section to move freely. Then, six and one half amperes are also passed through the rear section of the red top brush. Note the steadiness of the indicating needle. Only three quarters of one volt is required here as the rear section maintains almost undisturbed contact with its base plate. The oscilloscope trace indicates the voltage across the red top brush is low and nearly uniform, but rises slightly when the front section is raised due to a slight decrease in pressure on the back section. And note that the front section is forced slightly below the neutral position by the action of the red top pad. There is no movement of the rear section on the left and reduced movement of the spring finger. Compare the oscilloscope traces. The second test shows two brushes mounted on a four inch diameter commutator. The brush on the left is a red top multiflex. The brush on the right is the older style multiflex design with a metal hammer plate to distribute the spring force to both sections. The commutator has five flat spots, each extending across one and one half commutator bars. The commutator is rotated at 850 RPM. There is much less movement of the red top brush and the spring finger on the left. With the red top pad, very little disturbance can be detected because of the dampening effect of the rubber. 2.8 volts are required to force 2 amperes through the plane brush. The trace is very erratic and indicates voltage which is open circuit 50% of the time. Only 1.4 volts are needed to force 2 amperes through the red top brush or a 50% improvement in efficiency of brush contact. This trace is much more uniform, indicating a lower voltage across the brush, which is only slightly disturbed by the flat spots. Clearly, the red top reduces electrical wear by improving brush contact. In addition, the red top has the benefits of holding the brush sections together on multiflex brushes for ease of installation. And further, it insulates the spring from carrying current, thereby extending spring life. 
Over the years, in all areas of industry, the red top has proven to be an advantage in reducing maintenance costs for the brushes, the springs, and the commutator or rings. 